Good evening, everybody. Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Paul Naylor, AKA The Devil Soul Runner. So what we have here tonight is meal prep. It is Sunday evening, so I'm just kind of getting everything ready. So on this week's menu is gonna be sweet peppers. We'll get into a little bit more about what's in, what went into getting those things ready. Our protein is gonna be a spicy sausage with some ground beef and then base of our meals is going to be spaghetti squash. All right, starting off with our sweet peppers here. So quite simply, these are just sliced in half and I have this avocado oil spray so we can just get a really fine layer spray to toss everything and then salt, fresh ground pepper. And these are dehydrated garlic kind of spread over so that is it I have the oven set at 375 they'll go in for about 20 ish minutes maybe even less we just kind of want them to get warmed up kind of a nice roast to them and that'll be it all right now what I have going in here is spaghetti squash and as right now I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let the pressure out to take the squash out and it'll be done so um, so this right now is letting the pressure out. Yeah, it smells good. Alright, so I'm about ready to scoop the spaghetti squash out and place it into my containers. Everything's going to be moving really quickly here, so these containers here are great. I ordered them off Amazon, and these, the size here works, works really well for me because I put a lot of food. I've never really had a problem with filling these things up and then being hungry after, so I'll put a link down in the description of where you can order these things on Amazon. So one squash can fairly easily fill four of these containers, and it was a good size squash. Four containers, got another one cooking here, so uh, oh, and uh, looks like more of my sausage is getting ready to be turned over during the defrosting stage. All right, most people don't use a wok when they're cooking a bunch of uh, ground spicy sausage, but I like it. That's probably the Asian side of me that wants to cook with this. But you know what? It's fun. All right, so spicy ground sausage. This is a protein that I've chosen this week here. Now, some people don't really like pork for their proteins, and so some people substitute it with a beef, fish, or chicken. Last week we had chicken, but we want to mix it up a little bit. What we have here is just keeping things really basic. When you get too many spices, too many different things going into your proteins and it can cause it just to be not really flavorful because it just tastes like a jumble of just different things. And so basic seasonings, we have an avocado oil, salt pepper, and we're gonna dice up some fresh garlic. And so that is gonna be it. We're gonna cook this up on a medium heat, just get it to a nice brown, drain it from the crease and just add it to the containers. And that will be it. And by that time, the sweet peppers should be done. The rest of the uh, squash should be finished as well. And then that is it. No prep will be done for the entire week. And so far, it's been 20 minutes so far. So, all right, let's go ahead and get this protein cooking. It's going really well. You can smell the garlic. It's really lifting that flavor. So that's gonna turn out really well. The peppers are done. As you can see, the dogs are just as excited as I am. Alright, so our sausage is done. We're going to be going to transferring it from the pan to our containers. As you can see, 
all the squash has been portioned out and so after the protein is in the peppers will go in and then we'll call it a day all right and everything is done so that is it this took about probably just a little under an hour to prepare everything so what we have here for our meals is the spaghetti squash we have a spicy ground sausage here as our protein and then we have the roasted sweet peppers and everything has been seasoned just really basic just salt and pepper and garlic for basically the protein and the sweet peppers and so things are not getting too crazy as far as the seasonings as far as the seasonings go now as i eat the lunches you know throughout the week you know things that you can add on are things like you know lemon pepper i usually like to throw those on my vegetables especially when i'm eating things like the spaghetti squash but also if you want to you can throw things like uh, for example if you want to throw in a salsa to kind of give a little bit of a different flavor that is definitely great to do if you want to throw on some um, shredded cheese there's some more salsa there so those are great alternatives to throw onto your meals that are not going to be you know full of sugar or different things like that and if you might have noticed this meal this meal prep in here is very keto friendly not a lot of carbs here in this meal especially with the other toppings cheese salsa lemon pepper you're not gonna get a lot of carbs or a lot of sugar from things like that so if you're looking for a really great keto prep meal throughout the week this is probably a one this would be a great one to follow and so um, and so that is it so definitely thank you guys for joining me as I do my very first meal prepping for this channel so I hope you enjoyed it and as I mentioned before the things I've used in this meal prepping such as the meal prep containers and also the instapot I'll put a link in the description down below so you can purchase your own things but until then I really hope you guys have a great week ahead of you hope your training is going well and as always I'll see you guys at the start line. We'll see you later.